welcome to another Tonic Craft Kit unboxing video. Uh, today's video is kit number 21 which is called Distressed Edges and I'm really excited for this month's kit because not only do you get your exclusive stamps and dies like normal, um, you've got an exclusive stencil and you've even got an exclusive colour of stone drops and the stone drops haven't even come out yet. Um, they will, I think they're, yeah they're coming out in April so all of the other colours will probably have come out by the time you get your kit but um, um, it'll be really nice to have a, a ninth colour to add to the collection as well. So um, let's get on with the unboxing. So, oh yeah we also have a brand new exclusive product too that has not been out yet as well. Um, I'm not sure when the washi tape is launching but this is another brand new product from um, Craft Perfect and Tonic. Uh, this one is called the Blue Knight and you've got, um, you can see I've been playing with it because I've ripped <laughs> ripped the edges there. Uh, we've got this gorgeous um, star um, one with like a blue background and then the white stars on it which the white stars are a little bit translucent I think, yeah. Well it's all translucent a little bit because it's washi tape um, but it's a really um, high quality washi tape, um, not like the like the cheapy plasticky versions that you can get. It's a really nice high quality that um, rips really easily as well. Um, and then we have this gorgeous stripy pattern um, with different tones and widths of blue stripes on it. And then we also have a solid blue one um, which is a really nice um, light blue colour tone. Um, yeah, so they're really um, pretty colours and you get five meters of each and they're 15 millimeters um, wide rolls um, obviously you can use this to uh, tape down your um, dies when you're die cutting if you want to because washi tape is nice and low tack but because it's so pretty um, I'm probably going to be using this more for card making than for um, taping down my dies because I tend to use um, this Christmas one I got them really cheap for like 10p a roll um, so that's why I use washi tape to stick down my dies but with when it's so pretty like these ones and they go perfectly together for a, um, like a card design which I um, should hopefully be showing you in a video coming up after this one um, yeah you don't really want to waste them for your die cutting but if you run out of whatever tape you do use you could use a little bit of it but anyway um, so that is the Craft Perfect washi tape which is brand new and I'm not sure um, what other colours are coming out or when they'll be coming out but um, it's a brand new addition to the Craft Perfect. Then, um, let's. what should we go for next? Let's go for the little ink pad. So this is Poppy Red um, Mini Hybrid um, Diamond Ink Pad. Um, the mini ones fit perfectly in the Tim Holtz um, ink storage tins, which is brilliant for storing them all in. This is how I store all of my, um, well, all of my mini ink pads, actually. Um, but the poppy red one, it's new to the small ink pads, but it originally came out in the larger set of ink pads. So if you have the larger ones, um, you know, you already do already have this colour, but if you um, don't have any of the larger ones and you just have the small ones, then you've now got this colour. And obviously you won't, I don't think you'd be able to buy this one because it's part of the kit. Um, yeah, so that's the original size of them. This is the little baby one. I really like having the baby ones, though, because um, I tend to keep mine in colour order in my tin, and it's so easy to see the colours. When you have some that are big and some that are small, it's more difficult to work out which colours are going to go nicely together. So I'm really pleased to have a little mini poppy red as well, because I often forget to use um, poppy red. So that's a great addition to your craft stash. And if you haven't tried... Um, Tonics hybrid ink pads before. Um, it's a great way of seeing what they're like and uh, whether you like using them. And also because they're hybrid, you can um, stamp them and colour with your alcohol pens or with your Aquaflows, or you can um, like spray and put your um, shimmer powders over the top of them, and the ink won't smudge because um, it's hybrid, so it works on uh, works with water-based and um, permanent things as well. Then, um, what should we do next? We have a little baby pot of, I think this is, yeah, this is the first time we've had a baby pot of um, expanding mousse. So this is um, Boatyard Blue expanding mousse. I'm 
not sure if your one is actually going to, it probably should say um, Nouveau Expanding Mousse on the top. It probably have a grey lid and it will say the right name around the side. But because I get my kit early, um, you know, they've just put it in, a, in, in, in an embellishment mousse pot. But this is Boatyard Blue um, Expanding Mousse. Let me get my original pot actually. Okay, so this is my original pot of um, Boatyard Blue Expanding Mousse. You see it comes with a, a grey lid and it says Expanding Mousse on it. Um, and it's the Boatyard Blue colour. And this is the gorgeous colour that it is. You can see I've, I love this one, I've used it a lot. Um, but it's a really, really gorgeous, deep, rich blue colour. So, that is the um, Expanding Mousse that we get. Then... We also get um, a little pot of their, what colour is it? I think it's called Radiant Gold. Yeah, Radiant Gold um, Gilding Flakes. I think we had um, a pot of gold ones right in the very first kit. So 20 kits ago. I cannot believe there's been that many kits. But um, yes, yeah, so this is some of the Radiant, you can't really see the name on there, Radiant Gold Gilding Flakes. Um, and you can use these with the um, Nouveau glue pens that Tonic do, or you can just use them with double-sided tape or the double-sided sticky sheets or some other brands do like sticky embossing powder so you can stamp and add your embossing powder onto it and then heat it and it gets sticky and then you can put your gilding flakes on it as well. Um, I'm definitely going to be using these um, in one or two of my videos with the kit too um, and there's a few videos on my channel using gilding flakes if you just search gilding flakes you should find um, a few different uses for them. Then um, we also get one of these, which is their Nouveau um, double-ended blending brushes. Um, if you buy these, you get a two-pack of them, but in the kit you're just getting the one of them. Um, but they're really, I mean, actually a few kits ago we had one of the little baby brushes. They're basically the same, they've got a thicker amount of bristles in them, and obviously they're double-ended. But um, these have been out for a while and the original version of them looks like this so they've just um, updated them to go with the other little um, ink blending tools and the little baby ink blending brushes as well but that's the original style of them but they're really brilliant for um, all of your ink blending techniques so you can just dab them into your ink pads and use them to blend on some light colour. You can go through stencils with them. You can use them with your embellishment mousses and your expanding mousses as well. If you want to, you can just tap this into your pot and get a small amount of colour on here and um, really lightly apply some of the metallic sheen from any of the mousses. Um, and, oh yeah, they're also brilliant for your gilding flakes. Once you've added your gilding flakes and you've pressed them into the adhesive, um, this sort of stiff bristled brush is really great for um, like burnishing them into the adhesive and getting rid of all of the excess as well and being double ended um, you know you can try it out with a few different things and if you like them you can always um, get some more as well um, they're a really great tool to have you know um, lots of different uses basically you can use them for then um, this is really exciting this is one of the stone drops so they'll there will be some videos um, coming up soon of like my up close look at the stone drops and some techniques that you can do with them as well um, but I'll be sure to be using these in some of my videos using kit 21 too so this is um, the stone drops they come in a bottle it's the same size of bottle as the normal uh, Nouveau drops that you get um, but it's a different shape it tapers like um, to be a bigger bottom and then it sort of tapers back in again so it's like a really elegant shaped bottle um, obviously it says stone drops on it because they're stone drops this exclusive colour is called rusted iron and you can't get this anywhere else you can only get it in the kit then also with stone drops they have a much larger gauge nozzle you can see how enormous that is compared to have I got a normal one this is a dream drop but they have the same size nozzle as a normal Nouveau drop but you can see there the difference in gauge of the nozzle. It's probably like two or three times the diameter. And that is because with the um, stone drops, they are full of like texture. So I'm hoping you can kind of you can kind of see the texture. And they're they're um I don't know if they're a thicker consistency, but because of the texture, that's why they've made the nozzle bigger. And also, because the nozzle is bigger, um, you have to screw the lid on maybe like one more turn than you usually would. They have like an extra screw thread in them. Normally, I think it has like three screw 
screw threads in the lid but this one's got like four um, just to make sure that that large nozzle is kept airtight um, but if you if I rub it between my fingers you can see that texture in there it's kind of um, I was trying to explain it in my other video it's, it's kind of makes it gritty like sand but I don't think it is sand I think it's some kind of like um, little balls of plastic or something um, but it kind of reminds me of um, you know those tiny little polystyrene balls you get that are sort of like for fake snow but obviously really really tiny versions it's kind of like um, microbead size or even smaller than microbead that kind of a texture in there um, and there's loads of different things you can do with them this is a metallic colour um, and in the um, main range of stone drops that will be coming out there's like a mixture of metallic colours and um, like glossier colours as well but you'll see that um, in my other video when they're released in the UK um, I'll just clean my fingers so yeah, the Stone Drops are a really great product. Um, they're really interesting to play with as well. They're really um, different to anything else that I've used before. And you can use them through stencils and to create, um, obviously, normal Nouveau Drops. They create, because they have a bigger nozzle, the drop you get out of them is generally bigger than what you would normally get out of a Nouveau Drop, you know, just sort of using a general amount of pressure. But um, you can get smaller drops with them. Don't don't think you can't get the smaller drops. If you just um, squeeze really lightly and don't drop out the whole lot of product that's on the end of the nozzle, if that makes any sense, um, you can make smaller drops with them. Um, and obviously they dry with that gorgeous texture as well. Um, I haven't got one dry yet because I, I was waiting to open this one in the kit. But um, it's yeah, it's a really sort of textured finish to the drops. Normally a Nouveau drop is nice and smooth and domed. They still self-level and dome out, but um, you can definitely feel the texture in them. And they do kind of feel like stone. Um, and I think they're stronger than normal Nouveau drops as well. But um, yeah, there's definitely lots of techniques you can do with them. And they're really interesting to play with. Uh, and so make sure to check out my um, Stone Drops videos when they're out because um, this is an exclusive so they're not actually out yet while I'm filming this video. But um, yeah, they're a really, really cool product. I'm sure you're going to love playing with them. So that is that. Then, um, what should I show you next? I'll show you the cardstock next. So the whole theme of this kit is kind of like red, blue and then like goldy, coppery colours. And they're really stunning colours. So, um, I haven't got the piece of paper, so I'm going to try and order them in the order that the names are on the website so that I can tell you the right names for the cardstock. Um, okay, so... We get, how many sheets do we get? Eight? Yes. Eight A4 sheets of Craft Perfect, all in their different styles of card that um, that they do. So the first one is one of the classic cards, which has that texture on one side and is smoother on the other. And that one is called Moroccan, no, not Moroccan, Maroon Red. And it is a gorgeous maroon colour. Then again, we have another textured one with that texture on one side and the smooth on the other side and that one is called navy blue which is really gorgeous colour then this one is called ivory sheen and it's one of their um, pearlescent double-sided pearlescent cards i think this came out in the ocean air colour trend collection um, but it's a really pretty double-sided subtle pearl colour it's um i mean it's called ivory sheen so it's it's more like an ivory colour light and bit off white and ivory creamy kind of color then we have um this is kind of like a satin mirror card but it's got the texture on it and it's called golden glacier i know in the past we've had uh, a blue version and a pinky version of this so i'm not sure if this is new i, I think this is an older one um but it's called golden glacier then this one i've not seen before um, not in this colourway, so I don't know if it's new, but I haven't seen it before. And it is called Copper Roses, and it's one of their speciality card stocks. But it looks like um, lace, kind of, and it's got that gorgeous sort of um, reddy, coppery 
colour with a sort of um, darker undertone underneath it as well, which is really cool. Then we have this one, which is called Champagne Fountain, which is really pretty. It kind of looks like, um, you put it up that way, it kind of reminds me of peacock feathers, but that's really, really pretty. And it's sort of like um, a, a, a rich gold colour. It's more like a brownie gold colour. Then we have this one which is called Floral Lace and this came out in the Surprise Party colour trend. Um, it's a really pretty design and it's white on the other side um, and so you can use any of your um, Nouveau products like your Aquaflows or your embellishment mousses or anything to colour this. And then we have our glitter card which is called Gold Dust which is really pretty. And um, their glitter card is really good, it like hardly sheds at all. I think there's like two specks on my fingers. Um, but yeah, it's a really good glitter card. And you can cut really fine detail and the glitter doesn't um, come off of it either, which is great. Like, you know, like some glitter cards, it has like a glittery plasticky coating and it kind of peels away from the papery bit that's underneath, but that doesn't happen with tonic stuff, so it's brilliant. So those are all of the card stocks that we get and that's like the colour scheme of the kit. Then we have all of our exclusive stuff. So we have the sticker, which everybody gets excited about. It says made for you by, and it's covered in like cool splats and um, yeah, splatty droppy kind of things. Then we have, I really love these dies. They're so cool. I'm so excited to use all of these, the dies, the stamps and the stencil. So we've never had an exclusive stencil before. I think there has been... Um, the long thin stencils, we've had a couple of them before, but I think they were one of like the extra gifts that were in the kit and they weren't an exclusive pattern, but this is an exclusive stencil, I really love this design, it's so gorgeous, and that heart one as well, and they they are distressed, so all these little pieces that you're seeing in them, that is part of the pattern, that's not like that they didn't cut it out properly, that is part of the pattern. Then. Uh, we have a gorgeous, like, distressed stamp as well. So we've got this gorgeous kind of quatrefoil, which I'm really excited about. I love that pattern. Um, and I love the way it sort of is broken up at the edges and goes off into random patterns. I'm definitely going to be making a, um art journal layout with this kit because I just, like, this is just the kind of stuff I love to use in my art journal, like really um, distressed kind of patterns and things. Um, and having the distressed bits already there stops you from printing like a block of pattern it actually like it's already made it a sort of partial stamped image which I really love um, and then you have this gorgeous rose uh, design as well um, with some little dotty sections which will be perfect to add your stone drops in it's like the, whoops it's like the designer perfectly made it so that you can add your stone drops or nouveau drops into the design as well and that rose design is also carried across in one of the dies so um like, so the whole concept of these dies is that they cut into the card. So you know Tonic usually do verso dies and you have the detail that cuts into the card, but then you get the outside edge to cut it out. You don't get the outside edge for these because they're meant to be cut into the card to create your pattern within the cardstock. Um, so I'm going to take them out of the plastic and put them on a magnetic sheet, just so you can see them easier. This is just um, an A5 magnetic sheet. Um, this is just how I like to store my dies. That's the wrong side. Um, it just, you know, that means they're going to stay in my um, pouch really nicely. Though. And it makes them uh, quicker and easier to sort of pull them off and use them. And look at that. You, those two will go together to make a rectangle or see that one was there, you can put them both the same design together to create a bigger panel as well if you want to. Um, the pattern will sort of mis mi mismatch in the middle, but I like that look though. Um, then we have gorgeous rose. And then we have two sentiments as well, which is really great. Well, they're not all going to fit on here. Maybe I need to rearrange this. That's better. Okay.
Okay, so these are all the dies that you get in the kit. You get four of these different um, patterns that cut into the card. So um, if I hold them up and try and show you what I mean. So along that outside straight edge here, um, you can see that the pattern stops, but there's cutting edges to take the pattern out of the card, but there's no long straight cutting edge along the edge. So they, when you cut them, they cut into the card and leave all of the rest of the card there and just take the pattern out, which I really love. I love that style of um, die. And you obviously you get four patterns, which is really great too. Um, so they're really versatile and you can like mix and match them and everything. And they'll be great for paper piecing as well. I think I'm going to do some paper piecing with this one. This one kind of looks like um, a sort of rainbow pattern as well, which is really nice. Um, or you could make it more like up that way, it's more like mermaidy kind of a pattern as well. Um, that would go perfectly with the tonic mermaid dies actually. You could have that in the background and then the circular mermaid down here, that would look really cool. Um, and then we have this one, which is all sort of um, florally and you've got like... Um, leaves coming up here and a sort of tulipy flower element in the center i'm thinking of cutting this one uh once like that and then once like that and create a sort of shaker element in the middle of my card because um because this cuts into the card um all of the like these areas will be taken away so if you put acetate behind it then you have the shaker elements behind it as well and then i showed you briefly the the rose one and look at all the gorgeous swirly rose detail that will cut into the card um, and then yeah it's really pretty really pretty designs and I like that um, they've got a sort of squared off edge to them or this one's just got a straight edge but so you can it's perfect to just place them in the corner of your card and then you can do all the rest of these, your stuff down here and then add some cardstock behind the pattern or add acetate so you can see it to the inside of the card or add vellum um, there's all sorts of things you can do with these um, and I've, I've planned out three or four videos um, already so um, you'll definitely be seeing quite a few videos of me using these and then we have two sentiments as well um, and these are the um, the, the kind of sentiments that the actual word cuts it all out but then you've got the extra bubble as well um, I like to cut my bubble in vellum to sort of like mute the background behind them but you could also cut the bubble and stick the word on top and make it a shaker um, or you can cut the bubble out of a solid colour of card so that it makes it easier to add 3D foam to your sentiment because you've got a bigger surface area and one of the sentiments says, wishing you all the best. And then this one says, have a lovely day. So they're really um, nice, like, generic kind of sentiments as, as well. And then we have a couple of little flowers too, which are always great to have. I love having small little flowers. So that's everything um, from Kit 21. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this unboxing video. There's definitely going to be lots of videos using this kit because I really love this kit. Um... Yeah, so I hope you enjoy watching all the videos that are will be coming up in the next few days. Um, so thank you for watching, and oh yes, and the, there'll be links below this video um, to the two Tonic websites. There's a Tonic USA website and there's Tonic UK website. So if you're in the USA, you can get your kit from that website. If you're in um, the UK or Europe or anywhere else in the world, um, you can use the UK website. Um, and yeah I'll put the links below so you can just subscribe to the kit if you want to um, and you can buy a one-off version of the kit or you can buy a quarterly or monthly or quarterly subscription I think as well so um, and you save a little bit of money on like the cost of the kit and postage and stuff but I really love um, the value of a tonic craft kit as well because I mean I reckon normally if you had some kind of a die set that was like this enormous size I'm sure that would cost you about £35 so um, you know it's a really great value kit and obviously you get exclusive products that no one else is going to get if they if they haven't got the kit and you get a taster of all the really cool Nuvo products as well so yeah I hope you um, enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video so bye <laughs>